New Chinese Computer Use AI Agent is insane and it's free. Today, I'm going to show you TARS. This AI can control your computer. It clicks, it types, it books flights, and guess what? It's completely free. This is TARS, and it's about to change everything. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. So what is TARS? Agent TARS is an open source multimodal AI agent offering seamless integration with various real world tools. It's made by ByteDance. Yes, the same company that owns TikTok. Here's what makes this crazy. TARS takes full control of your actual computer, your real desktop, your real phone, your real browser. It's like having a digital human sitting at your desk who can do anything you can do, except it's faster, more accurate and it never gets tired. Let me show you what this thing can do. You can tell it to book a flight from San Jose to New York. It opens your browser, goes to Priceline, fills in all the details, picks the best times, compares prices, and books it all by itself. You can say, please help me open the autosave feature of VS Code and delay autosave operations for 500 milliseconds in the VS Code setting. Want to create a chart of weather data? It handles that too. Opens Excel, creates the chart, formats it perfectly, saves the file, you can even ask it complex research questions like, tell me the top 10 for humanity's last exam, and it will search, analyze, and compile the results for you. But here's where it gets really wild. Most AI agents use separate models for everything. One model to see, one to think, one to act. That's like having three different people trying to drive one car. TARS puts everything into one model, vision, reasoning, memory, action, all in one brain. That's why it's so much better than everything else. And wanna know something crazy? The US banned China from buying our best AI chips. So what did they do? They got more creative. Instead of using brute force computing power, they made smarter algorithms, better training methods, more efficient code. Here's what most people don't understand about TARS. It doesn't just follow scripts. It thinks, it plans, it adapts. If something goes wrong, it figures out how to fix it. It has what they call reflection tuning. That means it learns from its mistakes. Every time it messes up, it gets better. It's like having an employee who actually improves over time instead of making the same errors forever. The memory system is incredible. Short-term memory for what it's doing right now long-term memory for patterns and preferences. It builds up knowledge about how you work and what you like. Most AI agents forget everything between sessions. TARS keeps learning, keeps getting smarter, keeps adapting to your specific needs. Now here's something that should scare Google and Apple. TARS works on any operating system, Windows, Mac, Android, Linux. Doesn't matter, it sees your screen like a human would. Clicks where it needs to click, types what it needs to type. While Apple is still trying to figure out basic AI integration, China is already controlling entire operating systems. The gap is getting bigger every day. But Julian, how does it actually work? TARS uses something called a vision language model. It takes screenshots of your screen, understands what every button and menu does, then it plans out the exact steps to complete your task. It's trained on 50 billion tokens, screenshots, videos, user interactions, GUI elements, everything. The training is what makes it special. They didn't just feed it random data. They created synthetic environments, virtual computers, virtual phones. TARS practiced millions of tasks until it got perfect. Think about that. While you're learning one software program, TARS learned thousands. While you're figuring out one workflow, TARS mastered every possible combination. Now, let me tell you about the different versions. TARS comes in three sizes, two billion parameters, seven billion parameters for most people, and 72 billion parameters for maximum performance. The seven billion version is perfect, it's fast, it's accurate, and it runs on normal hardware. And remember, this is all free, open source. You can download it right now, modify it, improve it, use it however you want. Compare that to other AI agents. ChatGPT Plus costs $20 a month. Claude Pro costs $20 a month, and they're both limited to what they can do. TARS is free and can control your entire computer. That's not just cheaper. That's a completely different category of tool. But here's what makes this really dangerous for other companies. TARS isn't just one product. It's a platform developers are already building on top of it, creating specialized versions for specific industries. Imagine TARS trained specifically for video editing or accounting or customer service or sales. Each version would be like having an expert employee who never sleeps. The desktop app just got updated too. Version 0.2.0 added remote computer control. That means you can control other computers through TARS, set up automation on multiple machines, create networks of AI agents working together. They also added remote browser control. So TARS can operate browsers on different computers, different locations, different networks, all coordinated through one interface. Now, if you want to get ahead of this AI revolution. I've got something special for you. I want to tell you about my AI money lab. This is where I share all the latest AI tools and strategies that are actually making money. Inside the AI money lab, you'll get step-by-step -step tutorials on tools like TARS. You'll see exactly how to set them up, how to use them, how to make money with them. Plus you get access to over 100 different AI use cases, real businesses, real results, real profits. 
We have 19,000 members right now, all learning, all sharing, all making money with AI. You can find the link in the comments and description below. Now back to TARS. The business applications are massive. Customer service teams could automate responses. Data entry teams could eliminate manual work. Sales teams could automate lead research and outreach. But here's where it gets really interesting. TARS can learn your specific business processes, your CRM, your email system, your project management tools. It adapts to exactly how you work. Other AI tools make you change your workflow to fit their limitations. TARS changes itself to fit your workflow. That's the difference between a tool and a true assistant. Now I know what you're thinking, Julian, this sounds too good to be true. What are the limitations? First, TARS is still in beta. It's not perfect. Sometimes it makes mistakes. Sometimes it gets confused, but it's improving fast. Second, it requires some technical setup. You need to configure API keys, grant permissions, install the software. It's not as simple as clicking one button. Third, because it has full computer access, you need to be careful about security. Make sure you trust what you are asking it to do. Don't give it access to sensitive systems without proper safeguards, but these limitations are temporary. Every update makes it more stable, easier to use, more secure. And compared to the limitations of other AI agents, these are tiny problems. At least a TARS can actually control your computer. Most other agents can barely handle basic web browsing. Here's what I think is happening. We're seeing the beginning of the AI agent wars, and China just fired the first shot with TARS. The smart companies will integrate TARS now before everyone else figures it out. The slow companies will be left behind. Let me tell you why this is bigger than just one tool. TARS proves that you don't need the biggest tech companies to create breakthrough AI. That means innovation is accelerating, competition is increasing, and the pace of change is about to get crazy. What took years to develop is now happening in months. What cost millions now costs thousands. What required huge teams now needs just a few smart people. This democratization of AI is going to change everything. Small companies will compete with big corporations. Individual creators will automate entire businesses. Students will build tools that replace expensive software. TARS is just the beginning. Next year, we'll have AI agents that are 10 times better. The year after that, 100 times better. The question isn't whether AI agents will replace human workers. The question is how fast. And if you're not preparing now, you'll be left behind. But here's the opportunity. Right now, most people don't know about TARS. Most businesses haven't heard of it. Most entrepreneurs are still using basic chat GPT. That gives you an advantage. You can learn these tools before everyone else. You can integrate them into your business before your competitors even know they exist. You can become the expert in your industry. The person everyone comes to for AI automation, the consultant who saves companies millions in labor costs. Now here's something most people miss about AI agents. They're not just productivity tools, they're learning amplifiers. When TARS completes a task, you can watch exactly how it did it. You can see every step, every decision, every problem it solved. That means you're not just getting the work done. You're learning better ways to do the work. You're discovering shortcuts you never knew existed. You're understanding software features you never explored. TARS becomes your personal trainer for digital productivity. It shows you the optimal path while doing the work for you. Compare that to hiring a human assistant. They do the work, but you don't learn anything. With TARS, you get the results and the education. That's why early adopters of AI agents are pulling so far ahead. They're not just more productive, they're getting smarter about productivity. And the compound effect is massive. Better processes lead to better results. Better results create more opportunities. More opportunities generate more success. The gap between AI users and non-AI users is growing every day. And tools like TARS are accelerating that gap. Here's what I recommend you do right now. First, go download TARS and try it yourself. Start with simple tasks. Get comfortable with how it works. Build up your confidence. Second, identify the repetitive tasks in your daily workflow. Email management, data entry, research, scheduling. These are perfect for TARS automation. Third, think bigger. What complex projects could you tackle if you had an AI assistant? What new opportunities would open up if tedious work was automated? Fourth, stay informed about AI developments. This space is moving incredibly fast. New tools launch every week, old limitations disappear monthly, but it also means human skills need to evolve. Knowing how to use software becomes less important. Knowing what to ask the AI becomes more important. Communication skills matter more. Problem solving matters more. Creativity matters more. Strategic thinking matters more. The people who succeed with AI agents won't be the ones who can code or use complex software. They'll be the ones who can think clearly about what they want to accomplish. The technical implementation becomes automatic. The strategic thinking remains human. Now let me wrap this up with a prediction. Within two years, every computer will have an AI agent like TARS built in. Microsoft will integrate it into Windows. Apple will add it to Mac OS. Google will put it in Chrome OS. But by then, it won't be special anymore. It will be basic functionality like having a mouse or a keyboard. The advantage goes to people who master these tools now. While they're still new, while most people don't know about them, while the competition 
is still using manual processes. That's your window of opportunity. That's your chance to get ahead. TARS is just the beginning, but it's a really good beginning. That's exactly what we're teaching in the AI Profit Boardroom. This is our premium community for scaling businesses with AI automation. We currently have 1,000 members who are saving hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars every month. The AI Profit Boardroom shows you exactly how to identify automation opportunities in your business, how to implement the right tools, how to measure results, how to scale up. Whether you're running an agency, an e-commerce store, a consulting firm, or any other business, AI automation can transform your operations. You can book a free SEO strategy session to learn more. The link is in the comments and description. The AI Money Lab is perfect for staying current. We track all the latest developments. We test new tools before they go mainstream. We share what's working and what's not. Plus, we have detailed SOPs and processes for implementing AI in your business. Over 100 different tutorials, step-by-step -step guides, real-world examples. You can see how other members are using AI to scale their businesses. You get access to the checklist of free tutorials we share every day. You get video notes from all our training sessions. With 19,000 members, you're joining a community that's already ahead of the curve. People are sharing strategies, solving problems together, discovering new opportunities. The link to join is in the comments and description below. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think about TARS. What tasks would you automate first? What questions do you have? And if this video opened your eyes to the potential of AI agents, hit that subscribe button, because this is just the start of what's coming. The AI revolution is here. The question is whether you'll lead it or follow it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.